Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. Each morning I have been attempting to do a very slow jog around the park where I live. As soon as I start off, I soon come across a couple of amazing cherry trees. One is white and the other is pink and white. The blossoms are beautiful and I can't resist stopping for a second and giving them a good sniff. I remember as a child growing up at home and outside my bedroom window was a glorious pink blossom tree which looked so pretty against a perfect blue sky. I was struck by the thought that our world is in turmoil as this virus continues to wreak havoc on so many lives, causing unemployment, threatening our economy and planting so much fear in many hearts. Yet God is still displaying his glory through a humble cherry tree. To us, this doesn't seem to add up other than reminding us that he is in control and of course he still controls the seasons. Life still carries on is a phrase that we often say and think during times of great difficulty and hardship. So spring is a time for new life to begin to grow. Whether it is beautiful blossoms, baby animals, or the leaves on the trees coming to life once more. I was also reminded of King David in the Bible and his army who went to battle during the spring months, primarily because in that part of the world wars were not normally fought during the winter months because rains and cold weather made travel and campaigning difficult. Therefore, fighting resumed in the spring. However, 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 1 tells us, but David remained in Jerusalem. He should have been doing his job, but decided instead to stay at home. Now that's funny because we are told to stay at home. Anyway, the narrative tells us that he got very easily distracted and found himself watching a beautiful woman called Bathsheba bathing. And as they say, the rest is history. So what does all this mean for us today? Well, we are blessed with the beauty of spring. However, just as the biblical kings fought battles during the spring months, we are also currently facing this pandemic battle. David got distracted and was not doing what he should have been doing. It is so easy for us to get distracted at this time, to lose our focus, to not look after ourselves, physically, emotionally or spiritually. May God help us, especially during this difficult time, to keep focused on Jesus, because he will give us the victory over the battle.